Let's go north a little bit. I had to confirm whether or not I checked out that one place already. Oh. Good morning. Letter. We have one letter. Here's your letter. That'll be 500 rupees. How have you been, big brother? I'm here on the pirate ship writing you this letter. Isn't that neat? At first I was really scared, but they're actually all nice for pirates, I mean. Mr. Gonzo's a really big guy, but ever since Miss Tetra left, he's been crying like a baby. It's kind of funny, but sort of sad, too. Nudge, nudge is a little strange, but nice, too. And as for Senza, his beard makes him look pretty mean, but he tells really cool stories when he gets in the right mood. Zuko's kind of weird, and Mako is pretty quiet. Mako immediately gets mad whenever I try to take his glasses, so I do that a lot. <laughs> as usual, Nico is usually fooling around. Is, is always fooling around. He won't take anything serious. Actually, he seems sad not to have you around anymore. Were you guys good friends? I hope you all, I helped them all out with their chores, and they actually paid me a little for it. So I'm sending the money to you. Please use it, big brother. I'll loan you my telescope for a little longer, but you have to return it to me eventually, okay? I'm doing fine, so don't worry. I'll take care of myself. So you be sure to take good care of yourself. Good luck, Errol. Red Rupee. Wom! It's the opposite of being charged for your mail. Money mail. And hip. Let's point you north. I gotta be sure. If we're, if we're this close to a fairy fountain, I should take a quick look. Then, then I'm actually gonna head back south, and I'm gonna loop around this, the uh, bottom corner of the map. Just to, like, fill in that chunk, because we're running out of... We're running, we're running out of a hoy, small fries. Which I look forward to being out of, because then I won't have to deal with uh, the bait ever again. Except for, you know, other uses as they show up and whatnot. Those un- those- those cold, unblinking eyes that these seagulls have. Oh my goodness. Ah, uh, that gate looks closed. Oh yeah, this is the one with the hammer. I remembered correctly. And also, this guy's here to be a dick, so I'm gonna be a dick to him. How you doing? Hoy, small fry! Oh crap. Uh, he'll never catch us. <laughs> uh, why'd you do that? Come back here. Come back here. No, dang it. Uh, no, it disappeared. Dang it. It wouldn't stop. Stop. There we go. Okay, so the stop button doesn't work unless you stop moving completely first. Oh, wait, or is it the stop? Oh, that was the stop the, the ship button, not the stop the cannon. I was trying to turn off the cannon so I could drive normally. I'm like, I don't remember how to get it off. I did it. Stop. I'm sure they're nice in there. Do I get a billion arrows? Do I get an extra heart? What could it be? I don't need a fairy. <laughs> Young Waker of the Winds, allow me to aid you in your quest. Yep, it's arrows. The fairies in this fountain show ease your weariness. When you grow fatigued from your battles, come here to be refreshed. I am the fairy completionist. They're all dead now.
Uh... Wow, you're way bigger than I thought you were. Look how big it looks compared to this. Where are you shooting? What? You shot nowhere. That was weird. He looks so much... They're huge compared to the ship we we actually use. I didn't realize that at all. It's unnerving. Oh. What? 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 Did it, why did it not change direction? It, what? Stop doing that. There we go. That was weird. I was pressing right and then like... I was pressing right like a full like second or so in advance. Like I could hear the slam... I could hear the little like... S the click sound of my joystick hitting the far right boundary of where it can go. And... It wasn't going right. And I'm like, what? A weird problem. Back south we go. I can't see my map though because it's covered in postage stamp. Get out of here. There we go. Onwards. Now with more bow than ever before. So one more upgrade like that, and I can carry 99 arrows with my 99 bombs. But <laughs> I was gonna. What is he called? Tweedle? Is his name Tweedle? Weedle? Weevil? No. Twinkle? No. Why won't his name stay in my head? I don't understand. I cannot remember the name of this damn green guy. Creepy little green man. I can't... I can't. It's just gone. I lost it again. I just opened mail from him. And I, ha and I have a chart with his name on it. But, like, out of stubbornness, I don't want to go to it for the answer. I've got to be able to remember it. Surely. Don't call me Shirley. I see you, treasure. More rupees! Surprise! It's completely different from all those other times where you got 50 rupees, because these 50 rupees were purple. Which is completely different. Don't mix them up. It's purple rupees. Different. 50. Same- No, it's not the same thing. Shut up. I should put the bait on. Nope, there he is. Friend. Joke's on you when I cooked the last one. You know why there's only 49 fishies? Because I ate number 50. I kept, kept picking up 50 rupees so many times that I just started hating the number, so I'm like, I'm just gonna eat the 50th fish so those, that number doesn't show up again. Oh, a small fry. Come to my fish kebab. Hey, small fry. Do you know about the Nintendo Gallery? Okay. Just stomp on that fourth wall. Stomp until it's dust. The only way in there is to a switch that's way up on the f in the forest haven. But the only way to do that would be to uh, bribe one of the golds by putting a little bait on your head. That's all the info I've got to offer is that thing you've already done on the other side of the entire planet. I like how the things they say are completely relevant to the location where you find them, which is great. That means when you look at the map for all the different pieces of advice you've, you've found, none of them will correlate with actual locations where the advice is. So if you want advice in a particular location, you better check every single fish in the entire map, because the, the advice you think you, that, that you saw once might not be on that particular tile, but a completely different tile, which seems like a questionable system. I don't think I... I don't think I support that choice. I think I'd rather have the tiles... the advice be on the tile that it actually is relevant to, so you don't have to search for it when you forget where it was. Um... What is in here? Oh boy, 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 oh I see what's going on here. You got a little leafy thing. Whoa, the whole thing went. Oh, that screams I rotated by a set interval, doesn't it? <laughs> 
Yep. Whoa, that went really far. Like, too far. It's not actually reaching where I want it to go. I think they all spin by exactly 180 degrees. They seem to be. Huh. This is peculiar. Oopsie. Hat? Oh. It like leaned upward. I was like, I'm gonna be able to jump on it mid jump. Okay. Uh, Gotta be careful not to jump into the beam or it'll get beamed out. Uh, I did it! My favorite part of Legend of Zelda jumping is when they changed it completely for the new game. Because, <laughs> Jesus. Uh, remember that one time I tried to jump on that one tree branch over and over again in, in the forest temple in Ocarina of Time, and I concluded that it was impossible until I came back hours later because I literally couldn't do anything because I was out of s s uh, small keys? That was a good feeling. Okay. Oops, I forgot to rotate. <laughs> okay. That's not what I was hoping for. There better be a hard piece in here, because I already don't like this room. <laughs> it's a, I like that there's a neat little unique mechanic, but oh my god, jumping in these games is so bad. I don't understand how they kept it this way for so many games. Like... It's not like it was innovative to be like, what if the a game had a jumping button? They had that since the beginning of video games. Jumping buttons are so normal. Can I make this platform spin? No, I can't. Sp I can't spin the platform I'm already on. Not even if I go this way and go huh? No. Lean it up. Yeah, that's what I went for. The f that's what I wanted the first time. No. Uh. Okay. I can do this. I am the chosen one. Ah, this room. This room, this room, this room. Okay, I can jump back onto this, at least. Oh, crap. Uh, drop. There we go. No. Line it up. Line, line it. Yeah. Oh, don't fall. Okay, I thought he was going to jump over it. <laughs> oh, freak me out like that. Oh, that wasn't a 50. Spooky evil man, get out of here. How dare you. Get out of here. Done with you. Ah, the roots. Looks like we really got to the roots of that problem. Ah, <laughs> uh, do I risk it? Too late. Yep. Yeah! We did it. Must acquire all pointless rupees, yeah. even though I'm gonna go hit the cap soon and then I'm just gonna be throwing rupees away. I probably need those sticks, don't I? Ooh. Probably need to light you on fire somewhere. Ah, there's even more of them around. Just to be a dick about it. And swing. Take that. 
Can I just light this entire plant on fire? The answer is surprisingly no. All I can do is decapitate it with a flame stick instead of burning it. Even though, yes, uh, living plants are usually hard to burn. Because they're full of water. And water tends to make things hard to burn. I didn't mean to do this. Oh god. Oh my god, the fire's- oh, it went out. But for a while there, it was still on fire. And that's terrifying. What the higgity heck? I, is it supposed to still be on fire when I throw it here? Let's see, uh, the drop it button is this one? There we go. You. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, so how do I make you Elon Fyro? Ooh. Chest. Ah. Uh, uncomfortable. Oh. Yeah, that's worth trapping myself for. Great. Oh, it went away. Okay. I'm like, yay, a singular joy pendant. Good thing I trapped myself forever. I'd light that all on fire. Uh, I could try the previous arrow trick. I'm not lighting that shot up. How about that guy? That one seems reasonable. Does that not work anymore? Or is it, like, too high? Dag nab it. I can light them on fire like this. But how do I get fire up top with me? Let's see if it was a fluke. Because it was on fire when I was in the midair. It just kind of went out when I landed. Oh, it was a fluke. Okay. That was annoying. <laughs> it just stopped being on fire, and I just thought that was going to be what was going to happen. I don't really think of inconsistencies when I think of Zelda. Uh, okay. Congrats me. I did that much now. How do I get over there? I can't just... Oh, I can. Wow. This thing really is like anti-grav. Did I even drop? Hi. The tree is withering. Yes, it is. I think I found all of them now. I think. Maybe. I mean, once I once I finish exploring the entire map, I will have found all of them, regardless. I gotta get on the treasure charts. Is that what I went through all this for? One of these days, I gotta get around. Ah! Yeah, that was startling. Oh. Oh, I got it. Is that all? So I'm just here for that guy. Oh, no. And the treasure chart, too, but I have to do all of that again if I want to get to this guy, because I don't have the water. I gotta get out. I gotta get on that soon. I have almost every. Wow. I feel like we haven't been playing for that long yet, but I have almost every single power according to this screen. I'm missing like three slots here. Weird. Is this game shorter than Ocarina of Time? I wonder. Oh well, south we go. Oh wait, check the new chart. Alright. Southwest of place. Wait, of bad guy. Yeah. So it's all the way back on the other side of the entire place. Great! Good job. Thanks. Going south now. Ah, uh, it's a sharkle. Hi! <laughs> What if there was a sharkle in this game? Oops, my map. 
I want to see a Sharkle in more games. Hi. Hi. Oh. That was a lot of lightning at once in every direction. Apparently. Seems a tad extreme. I was about to go off course for that money and I realized I'm... That would put me at cap. That's how close I am. Not really the top priority right now. What I gotta do is I gotta get back to Windfall Island and then play the nighttime music and then try to do another auction. And then win every auction. And then, then buy everyone's houses and win this game of Monopoly. And ruin everyone's lives. Oh, a small fry? Those are dots. It's M for Mario. Have you seen a small fry the ghost ship? Cause it's real. See, I've, uh, it's even been seen here in these very waters. On nights where the crescent moon faces down, that's when horror rises. That's all the info I've got to offer. If you want to hear it again, you'll have to throw some more bait in the water. Crap. Man. These specific time of day, uh, specific time of month things might be really tr tough to track down and time consuming. We'll see. Hey, dickbirds. All right. I see no reason to even bother with this chunk of the map. There's not even a real island. Oh, I apologize for doubting you. I see you down there, whatever you are. What is that? Oh, it's a submarine surrounded by little evil platforms. Oh man, I could have missed that. I wonder if I've missed any already that I just went right by or something. Just the usual sad pirates in a circle around it. I uh, am happy to ignore them like usual. Goodbye. Goodbye, Lamos. I'm in your place. I'm just gonna get this out of the way, huh? I am here to do a murder. Thank you. Thank you kindly. Headshots. It's remarkable how much their physics reminds me of, uh... When you get the, get the headshots, it reminds me just of Breath of the Wild, basically. It's like the same animation, practically. Of just the just awkward backflip Rick ragdoll of a headshot. Just missing that high-pitched swing! Or whatever it was. That's a different headshot sound for sure. Yeah, it's a very different headshot sound. More overtly violent is what it is. There it is. Hello. Like fish in battle. You drop your weapon. Drop, well that was a weird sound. You drop your weapon. You drop your weapon. Yeah! I didn't even fight them. I just cheated the entire time, and I regret nothing. Those are full of water. They're not really worth hitting. Huh. One rupee. <laughs> what you got up here? It's the Triforce of Triforces! Wow! No one even knew that one was the thing. Ooh! I got myself a heart container. 
Which means I've got myself another, an actual heart container. Nice, we're up to nine. Glad I came here. The other place only gave me a treasure ch treasure chart, which, I mean, it's at Ganon's base, so maybe it's got a heart container or something cool in it, but so far I wouldn't bet on it. Sha whoop! About to have this chunk of the map finished. Just the next two things here. Then from there, if I eventually I'll get back to uh, the top of the map by Ganon's place, and there's only there's four tiles in a row there that aren't explored. And then we'll have every hoy small fry out of the way. Forever, I think. Unless they surprise me with like a prestige level second tier hoy small fry. We have to do them all again. Maybe that's what everyone means when they talk about the second half of the game being really tedious. Yeah, now we're maxed out. I am ready for an auction, you bastards. I'm gonna auction you like so hard, man, like so hard. You don't even know how hard I will auction you. That sounds incredibly illegal and like fucked up. Something should not be turned into verbs towards other people. It sounds like, uh, like the troubled part of Americans pa America's past. <laughs> No. Listen, I can jump. I'm a boat that can jump. Don't mess with me. You don't understand my power. Is this chunk of the map empty? No. Ow. Oh no. I took one thirty-sixth of my health and damage. Okay, you know what you are is you're not a... You're not a submarine. But I kind of want to kill you, because you're in the middle of a weird circle of things, and I kind of wonder if that might reward me for murdering you. Where's that sweet reward? And there isn't one. Oh, one rupee. Thanks. Thanks for the memories. Oh, fishy. And is that another game? Might be Might be another game. I need to revisit, bleh, revisit Mr. Deku. So I can get that sweet water. And then do a really long tour where I revisit various plants. It'll be very exciting. That's the wrong button. That's the wrong button again. There we go. Boy, small fry. It's a semicolon. How did you know? Welcome to so Semicolon Island. Let me ask you something, Fry. Have you been using ZR to make your boat jump? Well, have you? Of course, going out of the sea to jump around it would be real dumb if you ask me. Anyway, you can do... What you can do is tilt left stick to move your tiller, just as you land. That's how you make a sharp turn. If you didn't know that, why don't you try it out? That's all the info I've got to offer. I didn't know you could do that. I did not know you could do that. I did not know you could do that. Oh, look at that. Swoosh. Is it effective? I can't tell, really. It's a little hard to judge if I'm doing what they mean or not. Uh, are you the racist? I mean, race ra race manager, race organizer, dude man of Dudington. There's a slope over here. Yeah. Yeah. 
I am going to have to destroy Bell. I will not apologize. I am not a man who feels regret. Reminds me of Bastion a little bit with the thing where, like, you have a different hammer swing based on whether or not your uh, feet are planted. Or not. Thought I understood it, but now it's just... Nope, it's not doing a swing. What what, what causes... That's the swing. Is it... Do I, am I literally spinning the stick? Oh yeah, I, I think I am. I think that's what, what causes it. Hey, that's a pretty slick boat you got there, kiddo. So what do you say, kiddo? You wanna play a boat game for 30 rupees? What do you say? What's them rules? Well, I ain't that good a talker. So here it goes, now listen up. The deal is, you take the boat, you sail over the barrels floating in the water, and see how many rupees you could bring to the finish line within the time limit. There's two kinds of floating barrels you gotta watch for. The ones that float on their sides, and the ones that float upright. You can get the rupees above the barrels floating on their sides by just sailing over the barrels. But if you run into the barrels floating upright in the water, they'll rough you up. You know you can press the ZR to jump your boat, right? Yeah, well, you get the rupees over the upright barrels, you gotta jump. It's the only way. The barrels get placed out there based on which way the wind's blowing. So watch the wind gauge behind your boat real careful, like. You only use your regular sail in the race. None of them fancy speedy sails, you see, you hear? But the vendor said that I have the fastest sail ever when I bought it. Oh, and one more thing. If the, t if the time runs out before you finish, you lose. So watch the timer too, will you? Them's the rules. What do you say? You wanna give it a shot? Listen, I just stand on here on this island every day forever waiting for somebody to come by. Please humor me. Alrighty, let's go get down the start line. Boink. So it's also a race course, I think? I'm working on it, I'm working on it. Why well, was I supposed to watch the speed gauge behind my sail? My boat? Feels like we're just going... The, the only way you could conceivably go on this course, which is forward. Ow. Holy crap. A severe reaction. Not what I expected. Uh, they'll mess you up. Nope, almost pressed the wrong button. Gotta keep going, gotta keep going. I'm pretty sure this... Yeah, I'm pretty sure the wind gauge is useless, because it's just going forward. That's all that matters. It's a course. Of course. This seems risky. Nope, we're good. I mean, that might have st still technically risky, but, you know. You know. Oop. Am I doing a good? Did I do good? 149! It's the idea that you're just supposed to get more than 30 to get a net profit. Oh, way to be. Alrighty then, here's the 149 rupees you collected as promised. They're all yours, kiddo, enjoy. Looks like you made a fortune. Come back and do it again sometime. Uh, I literally have a net profit of zero. Because <laughs> of the magical power of limited wallet space in Zelda games. Hooray! Woo, round of applause. Psych, everybody's disappointed by that. No one likes not being able to keep their money. 